In today's video, we're going to walk you through how to access my QNAP cloud service using your QNAP NAS system. Let's start by logging into our NAS system. Find the QNAP Cloud application on your desktop. Click on Get Started. Next, select the Start button. We're going to select Create QNAP ID. Enter in our name. The email address. and select a good password. Agree to the terms. An activation email has been sent. This is what it looks like. Click on the confirm registration. And we're ready to go. Now let's log back in using our email address and password. Now let's name our device. We're going to call this one simply an ask demo. You'll notice that some links were created. Simply NAS demo dot my QNAP cloud and a smart URL as you can see below that ends in simply NAS demo. We'll select next. Make sure that Auto Router Configuration, DDNS, Public Service, and Cloud Link are all selected. The Access Control we will set to Private. Public will allow anyone on the My, My QNAP Cloud website to view your links. So we'll select Private so no one can find our links. Now, the system is registering. Perfect. You can see the summary, our QNAP ID, the device name, and the access control is set to private. Finish. We're back to our My QNAP Cloud page on our QNAP. The configurations are starting to set up, as you can see. The status on the internet address for Simply NAS Simply NAS demo dot my QNAP cloud is set up as you can see the green check mark as well as the cloud link status is now green. Okay. A, and now the web connectivity is set to green and the router configuration is working and um, should be on green any second now. Perfect. So, Let's click on web connectivity test one more time, just to ensure that everything is set up. Perfect, it's green. We're ready to go. Notice that the SSL certificate is not installed. This is an option. It's an option where you could purchase an SSL certificate from a third party vendor. So be careful with the links on top, the Simply NAS demo. It'll log you out. That's the exit button. Uh, and be careful with the Simply NAS demo editing because you can change the name of the system, uh, which will affect the DDNS. So be very careful with that. 
let's log back into our system. And so um, it looks like we're ready to go. Now we are going to enter information in the QNAP account center. We're going to enter in basic information, first name, last name, nickname of the system uh, is the same as you can see um, on the top right hand side. Uh, enter company name. And, I'm at, and these are all, they're not mandatory, they're optional, but it's good to have them. Uh, and reasons is in case you need to um, uh, have quality control or in case uh, you're an admin and be able to find your systems. Okay, so info, the pop-up has come up and that is uh, updated and ready to go. So here we're looking at so it, now our portal, we're right into our NAS system. So now remotely, we can see exactly what's what's inside of our NAS system. So let's take a look at a file. Uh, this one is an MP4 file. It's about 16 gigs. We're going to click on share. And the share links um, pop-up will come up. Okay. Uh, here's the name of the of the uh, link itself, the file. We can rename it. We'll leave it, we'll leave it the same for now. Okay. Um, you can share it uh, several ways. You can send it by email, okay? Or you can copy the link and send it to your own email, okay? Or you can publish it to social media sites, Facebook, and it'll actually populate it within the Facebook. The same thing with Twitter and uh, several other social media sites as well, okay? So... Another great feature is the expiration. You can leave it always valid or have it expire within seven days, one day, hours. It's up to you. A valid until date as well. So the link will actually expire. So this is another added feature, another added security feature that QNAP has installed. Password protection, one more layer of security. You can just select random or have or use your own password. You can use my QNAP Cloud um, contacts or your Google contacts to send out the, the email as well. You can copy. So let's take a look at what the recipient will receive. So let's put this into a browser and see what the recipient will receive and what it looks like. So here we go. So the recipient will see the name of the file, right? As well as the information, basic information. They can preview the file. And here are the download buttons as well. Okay, so um, let's download it and see what we got. Here it is. So we've downloaded. It's a um, quick little video, and sure enough, it's tr it's transmitted. Uh, perfect video looks great. So again, guys, this is a great alternative uh, to Dropbox, to Google, and other various cloud. Uh, service providers who charge. Uh, this is your NAS system. It's free. You should take full advantage of it and utilize it. It's your information, your data. Uh, there is no fee attached to this. So take full advantage of it. So hopefully this video has helped. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can reach me at sales at simplynas.com or feel free to leave a comment or message below and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Again, guys, thank you very much for tuning in.